And what I would like you to do is to put things that you think belong in one group in one white circle and put things that you think belong in the other group in the other white circle. And if there's things that you don't think belong, they don't need to go in a circle. So can you try and sort those into groups? Let's see what you come up with. Buttons going buttons. Oh, so you're going to put all the buttons in there? Yeah, all the buttons just go in one. And all the but and all the other um toys go and all of the um all of the stickers go in the other one. Ah, so you're going to sort it by buttons and stickers. So that's kind of like sorting it by function. Those ones are buttons and can be sewn onto clothes, and the other ones are stickers and can be used to stick to stuff. No, just one more button. Is this a spider? Oh, it's a ladybug. Oh, a ladybug. We do move this a little bit back. Now, so, now the stickers. So there's one, two, three there, and one, two, three, four, five. Good. There. And you notice you look at those, and there's is there another way that you could have sorted them instead of by stickers? May and maybe we could we could sort all red things in one red pile, oh. and all the other green things in another green pile. That's great. I bet if you did that, you could put more things into a circle this time. Because it looks like there's a lot of red things. Oh, so now you can put a bear in with the buttons. <laughs> Look at that big giraffe. Whoa. Oh, that gives me another idea. You could almost sort it by animals. In that one right now, you have all animals. A giraffe, a bear, a fish, a spider. Oh, now you don't. A block. Now, why did you put that in that one? Because they're all red. Oh, I see something else that's red. Now, all the green things go on that side. But there's this red sticker. Oh. So let me put that red sticker in the red side. That's great. So, so you sorted them by function, and now, now you're sorting them by color. There's one, two, three, four, five. There, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Would it have been better if I'd given you some more circles to put the blue and the yellow into? Yeah. Yeah, then you could have sort, totally sorted it by color. Yeah. Should we do that? What if I give you a bowl? Yeah, a bowl. Okay. Bowls. Here's a big one. And here's a small one. So, with all these ones, I'm going to guess that this one's going to go, the blue is going to go in the, the small one. And the yellow ones are going to go in the big one. Great, now they're all sorted. And what did you sort them all by? Yellow, blue, green, red. Ah, so by color. Right. Okay, so you have all your vehicles. Can the counting bear in that go in that group, or would that not be a good fit? That's not a good fit. How about the vehicles and animals go in one spot? Oh, okay, so now you're separating it by vehicles and animals. That's a great yeah. idea. The vehicle, the animals have to go in another pile. Okay. The animals are going in that pile. Good, so they don't belong with the vehicles. Why don't they belong with the vehicles? Because there's, the vehicles are different than um, animals. Because um, vehicles have driving wheels and animals don't. Oh, I see. Only, only robot um, animals do. And as soon as you did that, you know what? I see the start of another grouping here. What are these? Squares. Oh, what could you add to that group? We need to add squares onto this pile. Okay, so, so you were sorting by, you have vehicles, you have animals, and then you realized you have squares over there. Yeah, and, and you, could, you could actually, 
actually do um by by shapes too. That's such a great idea. So now you've got shapes, vehicles, and Look animals. 